Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Once again, I'm continuing my series. Holy crap, that's an amazing deal. And of course, we're talking about completed homes that's close to end of year. And the house we're looking at today is built by Perry Homes. They are notorious for not wanting to sit on completed homes. So it's a perfect time to get a great bargain. The house we're looking at right now is a 3395 plan, which has a really cool staircase. We'll talk about that soon. But the community we're in is in Homestead, which is located right between Shirts and New Braunfels, Texas, right off I-35. So great access to everything you want to be at. All right, let's head out front and start the tour. I right, absolutely love this community. There's so many things to do. It does have a fitness center in it, a gorgeous pool, and a little kitty splash area. Um, they are going to have eventually, if you look over here, there's this little dirt road and that's going to be finished sometime pretty soon, but that gives you the ability to get to the search symbol area, Randolph Air Force Base, all without having to get onto I-35. The tax rate in this community is uh, 2.16, so that's not so bad at all. And the HOA, you're looking at about $1,100 a year, also not bad for this gorgeous master plan community. Another thing I like about this community, they have a uh, event planner on site that they're kind of working on kind of getting people out of the homes and doing different things. Um, I've done an amenities tour video about four years ago. I'll put that right up here. Uh, just showcase that. It's a really cool setup. All right. I love Perry Homes. I love the fact they got a two-year warranty and all that other good stuff. But yeah, let's head on inside and check this gorgeous home out. All right, of course, I'm going to be asking you to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Now, this house was built for someone else, and at the last second, they backed out. So there's some, going to be some unique features that they've added to this house, like an extra powder room, and uh, they've got the big long doors, and they've got um, luxury vinyl planks on the flooring versus what Perry likes to do with the tile. But right up front, you have this office space, and holy crap, that's a beautiful tall ceiling in there. That is gorgeous. Lots and lots of windows. So yeah, if you're planning on working from home, this is a really big office. That's really nice. But coming in, the reason I did my little intro there is because I really want to showcase this because that's some serious wow factor there with these uh, curved stairs going up, that, that's just so cool and gorgeous. Uh, asking price for this home right now is $675. Oh, nope, wrong house I'm looking at. Okay, it has the price is $650. Um, but with their incentives right now, for if you take $30K off and be able to get this house for $620 in this community, that's a really nice deal. All right, you've got another bedroom off to the side with its own bathroom. I did not catch the lights in here. All right, so you got your own uh, shower tub combination, really nicely done. And the closet's there in the bathroom. I'll open up another one later. All right, you also have laundry room. Now this laundry room does attach to the master bedroom, so that's where we're gonna end up at the end of the slide, end of the video. But if you see this, you know we're at the mud room well, a good place to hang up your backpacks and all that stuff. So that means your garage is right here. So this does have a three car garage in the tandem format, meaning your one's gonna be like a uh, military call, but uh, well, heel to toe type thing. But we've got a plumb for water softener, tankless water heater. If you only got two cars, man, that makes a really great workspace. But if you have three cars, it's really nice to have that. And we got natural light in here as well. All right, let's head on into the main living space because that's where the money maker's at in this house. Oop, oh, just before we get there though, you do have a formal dining room space right off the kitchen as well. So I do love this staircase going all the way up, a spiral staircase going up. Got your little catwalk type thing there. Really cool. And little rotunda type things right in the middle of everything so really cool looking but check out this space you have here super tall ceilings lots and lots of natural light got the fireplace in the corner giving you plenty of space to have your tv and entertainment stuff right there 
swinging on around. You've got this big, beautiful kitchen space. And one of Perry's things that they like to do is adding extra cabinet space underneath here. So all of these have extra storage. So if you've got your uh, mixing pot, you can definitely do that. All right, coming in, we've got to chill off the pantry. I'm not going to say this is the biggest pantry. It just depends on how many mouths you have to feed. But I do like that this is a little bit deeper compared to like those top two ones. So you can add a little extra stuff in there. Perry does like to use GE appliances. So do I. It's a very dependable brand. Uh, one of the things I do like about Perry is you can open up their drawers all the way. So you're never going like, to lose stuff all the way in the back. That's kind of a unique Perry thing that I like a lot. This is a gas community. Um, this is a five top gas cooktop here, five burner cooktop. Sorry, it's a uh, four thirty in the day on a Saturday and I've already gone to one kid's birthday party. So, but I wanted to get this video done. So yeah, I'm a little tired, but that's okay. Big giant island, uh, one uh, single uh, big sink there. Nice little spot for your trash can so they're tucked away. And then you've got another little breakfast nook space here with a bunch of natural light all, all around it. All right, one of the things that the people that were building this house did was they put extra money into this big sliding door because they wanted access to this back patio with this amazing view out the back. And I know it's tough to see, but man, you can see pretty decent views out in the Texas Hill Country space there. Really nice. Of course, eventually there will be a house here, but you can tell we're up kind of high, but you're gonna see for miles this way. And I do like the fact that you can see just so far all the way around here. And yeah, there's that back road I was talking about going off to uh, shirts without having to get on a Randolph. Um, the amenity center is just a little bit down there. You can almost see the top of the, like, the little splash pad thing. But love this community. I've helped a couple people move into this community and they've absolutely loved it. <clears throat> we do have some steps going down into the backyard. Uh, be aware of that if uh, you've got large dogs that might have, might have hip diplasia. But the, they did want like little Christmas trees put in there. So as I'm filming this, it is 26 November. So be a good time of year to start uh, getting those Christmas lights up and have a little Christmas thing going on in your backyard. All right, let's head on upstairs because there's lots of extra space up there. And of course, I want to save the master bedroom for last so you can stick around for a little bit. But I love this little spiral staircase. I have another client that just got, I'm pretty sure it's the same plan under contract in Mills Creek in Seguin, Texas. Now this one's in shirts. So the price of stuff in the shirt Cibolo area and New Braunfels areas can be a little bit higher than what's in Mill Creek. But the view from above, Let's go this way. And you've got this really cool game room space set up with lots of lighting. You can see there is gonna be some more construction going on. Um, talking to HOA folks, they are gonna have a big pond back here <clears throat> that Texas wildlife will be stocking with fish. So that's also kind of neat to have. All right, we got another bedroom up here. Check out the size of this closet. Pretty good size closet. And they've got a little tray ceiling in this bedroom. Coming around, this is gonna be the bathroom that the bedrooms up here end up sharing. All right, let's go to the other side of the catwalk. And go around. Okay, I guess there's three bedrooms up here. All right, okay, maybe that bedroom, bathroom's gonna only be with this one because this bedroom has a Jack and Jill bathroom. So this room will have its own private sink, but then you come through these doors and you will share the shower tub combination, the toilet, and that room's gonna have their own sink. But I don't wanna forget this closet. Wow, that's, that's a much bigger closet than I thought it was gonna be. That's a good size closet. All right, coming out around this uh, 
little rotunda space. There's the the public access to this. So if you're hosting something in the game room there, they can still come through and have their own sink and access. Well, maybe this isn't a true Jack and Jill. It's kind of different because this room does not have access to it. So I guess it's not a Jack and Jill. It just, this door opens to the public and that door opens to the bedroom. God, I'm not confusing y'all so much. But then coming to this bedroom here, and we got another really good sized closet. Nice. That goes quite But yeah, I didn't preview the upstairs like I normally do. So I apologize for not knowing everything. I know a lot of things, but I don't know everything. So this is gonna have just the access to this uh, kitchen area. Whew, the sink area. And then you can close the door and these people will have the private access to the bathroom. We're gonna get through it folks, bear with me. But this is a beautiful home. Let's head on downstairs and let me showcase the uh, master bath. All right, we just came down the stairs and we're gonna head off to the master bedroom. All right, really good sized master bedroom. Got the tray ceiling, ceilings with like a builder's grade light up there, but you can always put your own fan in. But wow, that'd be a cool view waking up in the morning looking out that direction. But you have your uh, French doors leading to this beautiful bathroom. Big giant soaking tub. One really big island. And then one not as big island. But it does have a gorgeous shower. Yes. Little mud inset. Love the tile work that they put in here. Really nicely done. Your water closet. Now this is what I'm about to show you is not the strongest suit of this house. And that's gonna be the master bedroom closets. I'm gonna always be honest with you. Uh, this is one closet. This is not both of them, but this is one. We got your shoe rack, but then we got the other closet over here. Because you got the rotunda thing, and I think because you got a powder room added, which I'm gonna have to show you that in a second because I missed it. Um, this is the closet in here. So you got a place for long dresses, your shoe and boot rack and more space here. We got the double racks there. I do wish there was a way, and I'm sure there is a way you could figure it out how to put more hang up racks there because there's a lot of wall space being wasted right there. But you do have a little cubby. You can still put a safe or something else in. And now we're back into the laundry room, which is a decent sized laundry room. All right, let's curve around and let's show off that uh, powder room I was talking about which was an upgrade from it because the people who built it, they wanted a little powder room down here as well. So here's the little powder room. There we go, I didn't want to miss that. But the main features here, I really do like a lot, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the size of that closet. But hey, if you don't have, if you're not worried about this closet size, this can be an amazing deal for you. I really do like this community and this builder. All right, let's get to do it for this beautiful home built by Perry Homes in the Camille Homestead, located close to I-35 with easy access both through Bromfels, Search Cibolo, and everything on the northeast part of the San Antonio area. Remember, the asking price for this home as of late October 2024 is $650, but with their incentives, man, you can get this house down to maybe $630, $625. Depends on what you throw at the wall and how good your realtor is. And speaking of which, if you don't have a real estate already, I'd be happy to help out with you. My contact information will be on the final slide. And something new that I'm adding is a new Bromf Bromfels information package. So I'm gonna leave that link in the description box as well. So you can get to know all the st stuff going around in the New Bromfels area, which is just down the road from here. All right, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, if you know someone moving to the area, they don't have a real estate agent, I'll be happy to help. Why? Because it doesn't cost you anything to use me to buy any of these production home builders homes. So if you see value in what I do, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is yeah, going to be on the final slide. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.